campaign to suppress bandits in western Hunan was a counter-guerrilla, counter-insurgency campaign the communists fought against the Kuomintang. Guerrilla left behind after the nationalist regime withdrew from mainland China. The campaign was fought during the Chinese Civil War in the post-World War II era in western Hunan province, and resulted in communist victory. This campaign was part of campaign to suppress bandits in central and southern China. Prelude After most part of Hunan had fallen into communist hands, the surviving nationalist troops joined bandits in the period from June 1950-September 1950 in western Hunan to continue their anti-communist struggles and reorganized into the anti-communist National Salvation Army totaling more than 23,000 troops controlling regions with more than a million population. After communists secured central Hunan, they turned their attention to western Hunan and began to plan the complete eradication of bandits in the region. A total of more than 40,000 troops were mobilized, mostly from the Hunan military district of the communist central and southern China military region. Troops of the Communist 47th Army, 136th Division, and other communist detachments in the adjacent provinces including that of Sichuan, Hubei and Gaizhou were assigned to two commands, the Northern Command and the Southern Command, respectively commanded by the Communist Western Hunan Military District Commander-in-Chief Kao Luai and Deputy Commander-in-Chief Lu Xiangquan. Campaign. The campaign was fought in two stages, with the first stage lasted from October 15, 1950 – November 15, 1950. The communists amassed a total of 10 regiments to first attack bandits in northern region of western Hunan based in the Dragon Mountains. After 10 days of continuous attacks, the local bandits were completely annihilated. A half a month long mop up operation continued finally resulted in annihilation over 4,000 bandits. In the south, on October 20, 1950, communists took the town of Suining and Jing County occupied by the bandits and surrounded over 6,000 bandits by cutting off their escape route to the north. After fierce battles which ended on November 15, 1950, over 5,500 bandits were annihilated, and Jiang Ziyakin, the local nationalist commander-in-chief of the Third Front Army of the Southern China Anti-Communist National Salvation Army was captured alive. The second stage of the campaign began in mid-November 1950. Communists deployed a total of 11 regiments, seven of which were assigned to conduct local mopping-up operations. Another four communist regiments attacked and took regions including Nine Dragons Mountain, Phoenix, Maying, Huang County, and Passage. And by the end of December 1950, the local bandits were completely annihilated. The campaign concluded with communist victory and the complete elimination of the problem of bandits that plagued western Hunan for several centuries.